Hey, how you doing? Today, we are in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9. We'll read verses 14 through 29. So they had just come off the Mount of Transfiguration, and they show up to kind of a big mess. When they came to the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and the teachers of the law arguing with them. As soon as all the people saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed with wonder and ran to greet him. What are you arguing with them about? He asked. A man in the crowd answered, Teacher, I brought you my son who is possessed by a spirit that has robbed him of speech. Whenever it seizes him, it throws him to the ground. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, teeth and becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive out the spirit, but they could not. O unbelieving generation, Jesus replied, how long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought him. When the spirit saw Jesus, it immediately threw the boy into a convulsion. He fell to the ground and rolled around, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the boy's father, how long has he been like this? From childhood, he answered. It has often thrown him into fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for him who believes. Immediately, the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the evil spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said, I command you to come out of him and never enter him again. The spirit shrieked, convulsed him violently, and came out. The boy looked so much like a corpse that many said he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet, and he stood up. After Jesus had gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, Why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, This Uh, This kind can come out only by prayer. In the footnote, some manuscripts, prayer and fasting. So, we have a boy who can't speak, who has uh, seizures, and this is caused by an evil spirit, and it's a big mess. Everybody is having some, you know, there's a big thing happening. Apparently, it was a big scandal that this, boy who couldn't speak and who was having seizures being caused by an evil spirit, uh, apparently it was a big scandal that the disciples couldn't heal or deliver this guy, uh, you know, the young man. So this is amazing. And one of my very favorite sections of scripture, 22 through 24, um, the father is talking to Jesus and he's explaining the situation. It has often thrown him into fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, said Jesus. Now, I don't think that's an inappropriate thing for the father to say because they he'd already had him prayed for a bunch of times and they were going through this process and it wasn't working. So he's like, look, they couldn't help. Your disciples couldn't help. If you can help, that'd be, you know, like, come on. And Jesus says, if you can, everything is possible for him who believes. Immediately, immediately, the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. That is one of the most honest, profound statements that a regular person has said. I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. That describes most of us. You know, there are some people who have zero faith, zero belief in God, just nothing. But most people have some faith, some belief, and some lack of faith, and some unbelief. I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. There are things I know that if I could just believe in, I could access the things of God better. I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. So... That's just fantastic. And then the, the, the way this finished out, the disciples asked him, hey, why couldn't we drive it out? Jesus replied, this kind can come out only by prayer or prayer and fasting. Um, and I don't want to, you know, like, I always look for the principle in those things. And I think the principle was that is, is that if you want to do spiritual warfare, uh, sometimes you have to advance in order to be able to do battle with higher spiritual powers, you know. So, uh, you know, Level one little demons, everybody can get rid of, but some of these higher ones, it's going to be more of a battle. And there's a level of spiritual development necessary to fight 
higher level battles. And this apparently was a higher level battle in this situation. So Jesus was able to do that. His disciples were unsuccessful. So let's pray. And uh, <clears throat> I think that I do believe help me overcome my unbelief is a great thing to pray about. Um, the man asked Jesus, help me overcome my unbelief. Then he, he heals, delivers, frees his son. That's a great way <laughs> to not have unbelief anymore is to see the miracle. Um, sometimes we don't get to see the miracle in that same way, but wow, is that helpful. But let's just seek the Lord. We do believe. Let's ask him to help us overcome our unbelief. So, Father, we thank you for your goodness. Lord Jesus, thank you for your mercy and your kindness. And, uh, Lord, we just ask you to help us overcome our unbelief. We set before you our worries and concerns and the things that we don't understand, the, you know, the things that maybe you've done in the past but we're afraid you won't do now. Lord, help us overcome our unbelief. Father, there are so many things that if we could just access them, your power would be amazing. But unbelief puts a roadblock between us and you. And so, Lord, let us, let us be free. Father, I pray that you would show us something like you showed this father. You gave him this incredible miracle. And, of course, that's got to help him overcome his unbelief. And, Lord, sh move in our lives. Let us see your power and your strength, not because we need you to prove yourself, but because that just it encourages us so much. And so, Father, that's what we ask of, of you. Show us, show us your, your power and your strength that we may believe stronger and better. So help us overcome our unbelief. In Jesus' name, amen.